Recently, we've been hit with the news that a couple of cast members from the iconic TV series MASH have taken their final bows, leaving us with a mix of nostalgia and sorrow. Facts First presents More MASH cast members have died, now he's all that's left. Eileen Saki Eileen Saki, the talented actress who played Rosie, the bar owner in MASH, passed away on Monday, May 1, 2023, in Los Angeles after a courageous battle with pancreatic cancer at age 79. Her representative confirmed the news of her passing to various news outlets. She graced nine episodes of MASH, a show centered around the Mobile Army Surgical Hospital during the Korean War, which aired between 1972 and 83. As the proprietor of Rosie's Bar, Eileen was the third and longest-serving actor to fill the role. Even after her time on the series ended, her acting career persisted, with appearances in projects such as Splash alongside Tom Hanks, playing Dr. Fujimoto, as well as roles on Chips and History of the World Part 1. Born in Japan to a gardener, Eileen relatively recently shared her life story on the MASH Matters podcast with her co-star Jeff Maxwell. She expressed her lifelong desire to be a performer since the age of four, seeking an exciting and glamorous life beyond her humble beginnings. Her journey led her to the role of Rosie on MASH after a fortuitous encounter with Burt Metcalf on the Fox lot. Following her time on the show, she approached Metcalf for further opportunities, which led to her involvement in History of the World Part 1. Having successfully battled lung cancer in 2004, Eileen returned to the world of entertainment, most recently appearing in a 2022 Uber Eats commercial. Jeff Maxwell, who played Private Igor Strominsky, paid tribute to Eileen on the MASH Matters podcast and shared his heart felt words on their Facebook page. Judy Farrell Judy Farrell, best known for her portrayal of Nurse Abel, passed away from a stroke at age 84 on Sunday, April 2, 2023. Hailing from Quapaw, Oklahoma, Farrell's passion for theater took root early in her life. She pursued her dreams and obtained a fine arts degree in theater from Oklahoma State University, followed by a master's at UCLA. It was there she met Mike Farrell in 1961, and they were married two years later. They had two children, Michael and Aaron, before parting ways in 1983. Farrell's acting journey began in the 60s alongside her husband at the Laguna Playhouse. Her TV debut came in 1969 with a guest appearance on Get Smart. She went on to play various roles in shows like The Partridge Family, The Rookies, Room 222, Emergency, and Benson. Most notably, she played Nurse Abel in eight episodes of MASH. Her character often assisted doctors in the OR or delivered messages to them. An episode even incorporated her real-life marriage to Mike Farrell. Farrell also explored writing, contributing 13 episodes to the soap opera Port Charles from 1998 to 2003. She also wrote a TV movie called The Kid from Nowhere in 1982, featuring her husband and son. Her other acting credits include a recurring role as Mrs. Miller on Fame and appearances in TV movies like Intimate Strangers, Fugitive Family, and Long-Term Relationship. She retired from acting in 2006. Loretta Swit, who played Major Margaret Hotlips Houlihan in M.A.S.H., considered Farrell a part of her family. In a recently published interview, Swit reminisced about their time together, describing Judy as a beautiful person both inside and out. She acknowledged the pain of losing her dear friend, but emphasized she would forever cherish her memory. Let's take a moment to check in with the surviving cast members of the iconic series. Loretta Swit as one of the four stars to grace all 11 seasons of MASH, Loretta Swit played head nurse Margaret Hotlips Houlihan. With her exceptional performance, she won two Emmys and appeared in nearly every episode, ranking second only to Alan Alda in terms of total credits. Houlihan's self-proclaimed army brat background made her an initial antagonist, but Swit skillfully navigated a wide range of captivating emotional arcs throughout the show's run. Following MASH, Swit continued her television career, lending her voice to shows like Batman the Animated Series and Cow and Chicken. Now 85, Swit's involvement in the entertainment industry has slowed, but her remarkable portfolio of roles remains a testament to her talent. She's maintained close relationships with many of her MASH co-stars, including Alda and the late Harry Morgan, who played Colonel Sherman T. Potter in the show's later seasons. Apart from acting, Swit has authored books on needlepoint and watercolor painting and is a dedicated animal rights activist. In 1989, she received a well-deserved star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Sally Kellerman, the original Hot Lips from the 1970 Robert Altman film that inspired the series, passed away in 2022. Alan Alda 
At age 87, Alan Alda remains a prominent figure in Hollywood. As Captain Hawkeye Pierce, Alda was not only the star of MASH, but also one of its driving creative forces. He, like Swit, is one of just four main characters to appear in every season, establishing himself as a cornerstone of the series. Interestingly, Alda served in the military during the Korean War, providing him with a unique perspective on his character. As the most unconventional surgeon of the group, his blend of sharp comedic timing and intense emotional acting mirrored the balance that made the show extraordinary. By the time MASH ended, Alda had amassed an astounding 25 Emmy Award nominations and 12 Golden Globe nods for his work. Post-MASH, Allen continued to thrive in the entertainment industry, starring in major films like Crimes and Misdemeanors and Bridge of Spies, as well as TV series like ER, The West Wing, and 30 Rock. In recent years, Alda has candidly discussed his battle with Parkinson's disease and became a prominent spokesman for raising awareness about the condition. Despite his struggles, he delivered a memorable performance in the 2019 Oscar-nominated film Marriage Story, starring Scarlett Johansson and Adam Driver. In recognition of his extensive career as an actor, writer, director, and producer, Allen received the Screen Actors Guild Life Achievement Award that same year. Jamie Farr one of the most unforgettable performances in M.A.S.H. came from Jamie Farr, who portrayed the cross-dressing Lebanese-American corporal Maxwell Klinger. Today, Klinger remains a fascinating and multifaceted character, prompting discussions on whether his portrayal was progressive or homophobic. What's undeniable is Klinger found solace and happiness in wearing traditionally feminine clothes amidst the chaos, tragedy, and death of war. Farr has a star on the famed Hollywood Walk of Fame and appeared in each and every season of M.A.S.H. He also starred in the short-lived sequel series After MASH, which followed the post-war lives of Klinger, Harry Morgan's Sherman T. Potter, and the late William Christopher's Father Mulcahy. Now 88, Farr's acting credits include shows like The Love Boat, That 70s Show, and Family Guy, as well as films such as the Cannonball Run series. Although Farr has become less active in the industry, his exceptional portrayal of Klinger on MASH ensures his enduring legacy. Gary Berghoff Gary Berghoff played Corporal Walter Eugene Radar O'Reilly. He played the role in both the 1970 film as well as the series. Both of those were adapted from Richard Hooker's book, M.A.S.H., a novel about three army doctors. In the film, Radar was depicted as a solitary, darker, and somewhat sardonic character, while the TV adaptations showcased a more innocent and naive persona. He received six Emmy nods and one win for his work on the series before departing the show in 1979. Mike Farrell Farrell played his role throughout the entire show, and his character was responsible for the iconic goodbye spelled out in White Rocks in the series finale. He earned two Emmy nominations for his performance on the series. After MASH, Farrell enjoyed a successful acting career with appearances in Murder, She Wrote, Law & Order, Special Victims Unit, and Desperate Housewives. He also secured a leading role in the 1999 series Providence. Now 84, he's actively involved in numerous political and social causes. He's a member of PETA, served as a co-chair for the California Human Rights Watch for 10 years, and was president of Death Penalty Focus for over a decade. Now it's time to hear from you. Who was your favorite character from M.A.S.H.? Let us know in the comments section below.